Hey guys, Dr. Prometheus here, back. Another episode of our Justin Fields Bears rebuild. Allen Robinson's a little frustrated, but we're going to get him football for this game a lot more than what we were doing before. He has five touches or 100 yards. It's a Thursday game. We want to rest and think about what we're doing here. We don't need big preparation out of the practice field. We need to get our morale up after that loss. Breakout QB, Justin Fields has a possibility to become a star dev. 300 total passing yards, three touchdowns, no interceptions, and the win. So we're going to run the football as best as we can against this. I swear we're going to do this. At least that's what I want to. We'll see what we can do. Uh, college players this week we're going to continue with middle linebacker and looking around what about the non-speed rushers As for coverage, there's not much to do there. As for corner, we're going to have to figure out what we're going to do at corner as well. And remember, we don't have a first round draft pick, so we're going to have to trade up if we do want to do that, which I think we might end up doing. You know what? I want the Bucks to have their creamsicle jerseys on we're gonna have their orange ons we're gonna have our our color rush okay The Chicago Bears taking on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. One of the great venues to watch a game in any sport and one of the best home crowds in any sport. Soldier Field All right, in baby. Chicago. This was the scene a moment ago as the Bears emerged from their tunnel. Ready for football are they and ready for football are we as the Bears get set to match up with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Seems like we were just starting training camp, but here we are in October, and off we go on EA Sports. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. So here are the Bears now for their opening drive. And a glance here at their quarterback standing six foot three. And what I enjoyed All right, Fields. this week when we had a chance to watch them at practice, the easy camaraderie that he has with his offense a lot of respect a lot of respect this is a very good defense the defense are the defensive guys were coming over and teasing and joking with him you can tell they respect the heck out of him and really want to play well for him and they're able to get this one across the 35 14 yards there on the first play from scrimmage so from the 36 now first and 10 at the 36 yard line looking to throw that's Jimmy Graham. It's Jimmy Graham. The pressure in Fields' face. Good gain of nine on first down. Blitz, blitz, blitz. Nine there on the first down completion. Nope. But no one's going to cover 
Cohen out there. Ah, much better on the line with Whitehair right guard. I think this might actually be the lineup the Bears do go with in real life. There's Newsom checks in. He's trying to get to come out there. We just need points here. And that missed. Eddie Goldman banged up. Brings in Edwards. And there's a good play. It's prime time, baby. Broken ribs. He's out for a couple games at least. Tonga is going to check in here. Big hit. Roquan. Good catch there by uh, Who is that? That Godwin, I think. Yeah, that's Godwin, 14. Gronk loses a couple yards off his momentum. Godwin has it against Trufant. It's mixed match, uh, mismatches out here. I remember we're not working with we're not Fuller anymore. There's Mac and Roquan. You gotta be kidding me. Fight. Now we get to turn it all loose. 
And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Big play! Big play! Chicago works their way back onto the field here for the right. drive of the game. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? That's dropped by Herbert. Wow. What is going on with this Bears team? Six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. Oh, come on. That is roughing the passer on Vita Vea. Of course, you're not going to call it, though. At least Cole Komet can catch the ball. Must have heard a little scrappy up there. Okay. I'll see you. A little scrappy. Just before the line to game, four yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a game considering the blitz that they just had against him. Uh oh, -uh, he is going nowhere as he is enveloped behind the line. Remember, that was less than a yard. That was not a full yard. That defense, they were having none of it. Yeah, the surge the offensive line was seeking actually occurred on the other side of the ball they reestablished the line of scrimmage and stuffed them you got to be kidding me and he will not even make it back to the line of scrimmage the bears tried it on fourth down unable to convert and this defense is going to get the football back near midfield right at the 48 shotgun now for brady it's caught by mike evans and he is down at the 48, a pickup of four that started at 148 yard line and ended at the other. They'll contain him to just four, second down. Now the toss to Jones, running right. Come on, you got to make that play, Trufant. Ronald Jones, the ball carrier. He did have the touchdown run earlier, but not a heck of a lot more than that throughout this game. No, not at all. In fact, I would say that this defense has done as good of a job on him as they have on any runner in recent memory. Brady going to try and throw on third down. He gets it into the hands of Gronkowski. Complete. And he's going to get this. I should have went to his zone there. What am I doing? That good for 19 yards as they pick up the conversion on third. Brady's going to just carve us up if we're going to sit in man coverage. These receivers are so much faster. Oh, I'll go some good uh, pressure up the middle. It feels like this offense has carried its dress rehearsal into the game. You know, because you do practice it, you do go through it, and in this case, it is clicking exactly like they drew it on. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. The Bucks on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This is third and seven. Now Brady again. You gotta be kidding me. Still can't stop him. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Again, they'll throw with Brady. Looking sideline incomplete. On the throwaway. Brings up second and goal. Another shot from the nine on second and goal. Again, it's Brady. Pass incomplete. Run to the sideline and incomplete. The Bucks on third down. The perfect four for four thus far. This is third and goal. Free to throw again. Knocked away by Jalen. 
Ooh, that was a big time play for the young guy. This is a very good defense, and I could definitely tell why we're having issues. Burr's going to check in. A Chicago first down there on a gain of 11. At the 49 yard line. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. I tell you, Brandon, this defense is playing with some confidence. Haven't allowed a point yet. Flying to the football. I'm telling you, it's almost 11 to the ball on every snap. Another nice job there to force an incompletion. You missed it, Fields. Of all plays. film yesterday and you told me to watch his feet. Well, for whatever reason, his footwork just looked off on that throw. And you always love it when an ex-defensive back talks quarterback mechanics, right? Well, but you're good at it. Well, I, I try, all right? I don't know how good I am, but it doesn't take much to tell. In a double coverage and it's intercepted. Picked up by... Trying Shane. to make something happen out here. Let's go! Third and long that time, he was trying to make something happen, but a little too risky. Well, the field tilted on him, and what I mean by that is what you said. Third and long, got to push it downfield to try and pick up the first down. The defensive backs live for this situation, and they took advantage of the young man right there. Well, that one was all about the defender making life difficult for the receiver. Very tough for a guy to hold on to the football through all that contact. He ends up forcing the incompletion. They throw again on second down. This one's complete. And it gets this We're just outmatched by the Bucks right now. Out of they get six. That'll leave them with third and four. The Bucks on third down. They've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. This is third and four. And that's out of bounds. That throw by Brady incomplete. Love the idea. Love the concept. All right, Nagy trying to coach up Fields. So he can fade into it His defense, man. Chicago offense coming back out onto the field and following the interception we'll see what they can put together on this drive I hear my old college coach right now he always used to tell so we can't get the uh, dev upgrade but they're hoping is that that last mistake is their only one of the game coaches that's all they talk about turnovers right minimizing those and maximizing opportunities now left side, a completion to his tight end. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Rookie to rookie on the hook up there, and it's a first down. First and 10 at the 38-yard line. They'll set up a throw. Open man is Komet, the tight end. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 10 more for him on that one. He's been a busy man. It's a first down. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And he finds Montgomery complete. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. But despite the completion, they're going to wind up losing three. That was just a dumb. Second down. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. It's caught on the right side by Robinson. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. 15 yards on the play. First down. Well, that's now four blitz, 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 blitz. A good bounce back following the interception last drive. Oh. Certainly not letting it affect him, that's for sure. And we all know interceptions are going to happen. So the big trick, 
I just like real life, Vita Vea. Hopefully he just didn't break his leg, was it? Or his ankle? Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. That's caught at the three. And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. Tariq Cohen, his fourth touchdown. I kind of figured it was a blitz. We put Cohen out behind the blitz. So it goes for a rookie quarterback. He had the INT earlier in his first half, but he bounces back with a touchdown pass. And you have to like the mental acumen, the toughness, the fortitude of him, because oftentimes for a rookie, you throw an interception early, you're taken right out of the game, or mentally, you check out a little bit. Give him a lot of credit for bouncing back. This taken in about four yards deep, and no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. The Bucks' offense set to begin their next possession. They've got the lead. Last time had to punt it, though. What's the key to this drive? I think it's leverage. Ah, the leverage. big guys up front. You know the I don't know why he didn't go over the middle. Is, guys, give us an opportunity. Protect the passer. Create space for our runners. And let's go ahead and get these guys. Low man wins. Let's go do it on this drive. <laughs> we'll watch that leverage on this drive. Quickly to Gronkowski. We hit Brady for no reason. Slip across the 35. Dropping the passer defense. Come on, dog. Well, they'll get the yardage, but they hate to see him take that hit. They're always trying to cool off a big time guy throwing the ball, but you have to know when to back off, pull up, and not hit him. There's the penalty. Oh, okay. I thought he he stumbled over Roquan's. Got lucky there. Plays have him on the move on first down. A CD a lot of times like to separate speed and quickness, and they've got a back that's both. We know that he's fast in the open field. Going deep, is so quick too. and that is pushed out of bounds. That's a great play there. But also when you run those by Trufant using the sideline. Tonga gets out there, but it don't matter. EJ open field tackle. Up the middle, both of the linebackers are there. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. The Bucks on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This is third and four. And he's got it. Caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Chris Godwin. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Buccaneers here finding a way to stretch their lead. Boy, that route is really tough to cover because if they're running it correctly, you think it's really going to be a slant. Yeah, well, you, we talk all the time about how it's tough to execute offensively, but you're saying, don't forget, it's tough to cover for the defense, too. Yeah, the number one thing that you're taught is to not get caught inside or get beat inside. So you guard that a little bit more. So that gives you a little bit more space to operate outside if you start to move initially inside if you're a receiver. Taken in at the three. And he brings this out past the 20 to the 24. At their own 24 yard line. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. They trail by 10, 17 7 as they come up on a first and 10. They're throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. It should have been an easy completion. Second down. Brings up second and 10. Rookie Newsome with the catch. Following a pick up a seven past the 30 to the 32. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all. And now they're looking at third down here. 
Coming up at the half, a reminder, we go back to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman. He'll have a look back at our first half, as well as a look ahead to what's coming up later this weekend. Hard throw, incomplete. It's not a hard throw, that was a bad throw. Looks like they're going to have to punt it away, CD. And right now, I know a lot of their fans are screaming for the OC to change things up, get away from what he's been calling. Sometimes you just need better execution of the plays that have been called. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. And this offense trotting back onto the field. Let's turn our attention here to Ronald Jones. And it may just be the second quarter, but he's in his own well on his way to eclipsing that 100-yard mark. And when a back has a game, as we're witnessing right now, his name's going to be in the books. But it's really a collective deal, isn't it? Because that means line. he's getting plenty of blocking. A lot of help from his teammates, but he's making the most of it. Yeah, he's made the most of it to this point. On first and ten, here's Brady. That's complete to his running back, Evans. A gain of ten as they look to add on to this ten-point lead. They still need about the length of the football here, maybe a little less as they come up on second and inches. Working from the gun, it's Brady. This into the hands of his running back, Ronald Jones. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 41. It's a loss of four, now third down. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. Third down, Brady looking for Gronkowski, and he's got him complete. The Bucks going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts. <sighs> Come on. So stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. A couple of first downs on the drive already, as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far at second down. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. Brady will try again on second down. They're targeting Godwin once more, this time complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackles make. Tom Brady is just doing Tom Brady things out here, but I cannot stop him. Move the chains from the 34 now. Here's first and 10. From the gun, it's Brady. Open man, Gronkowski complete. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets it down to the 30 there. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Looking to throw again on second down. Oh, what is that pick out there on Graham? And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down to about the 21 or 22. It's a nine-yard pickup on the play, and it'll give him a fresh set of downs. Suckup's kick is good, and that will do it for this first half. So we've reached the intermission in what right now is a 13-point game. As we'll send you down to Orlando, and we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, guys, thanks very much. We'll get back with... Due to time constraints, we move you forward in today's broadcast to the beginning of the third quarter. The Bucks with a lead, and they'll get the football first as the second half is underway. And this carries into the end zone, and he will not bring it out. It's a touchback. So here are the Bucks to take over on offense. They've got the lead here as they begin this drive, trying to get that bad taste out of their mouth from the loss last week to the L.A. Chargers. Brady going to bring the Bucks up with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. And right away, he'll look to throw. Caught on the right side by Jones. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. A loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. 
Well, that's not exactly how they drew that one up, nor practiced it, because on first down, you're trying to get some yardage to set up second and third down calls. In this case, had to drop it off to his running back. But boy, they closed quickly on that one and stopped him behind the line of scrimmage. A pass down the middle is fought for and hold in. That one good for 26 and a first down. Well, we know he's got the speed there. He needed the speed and the hands. A great catch. And because of that speed, you have to respect it as a defender. So you have to either play off or make sure you're somehow in contact with him. And he's able to do exactly what you said. Use the speed. Now, Mario Edwards Jr. is down. Ball. That's a big time play right there. Brady going to fake the give to Jones and set up to throw. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Evans. And he's out of bounds. That's in the zone, and we just cannot stop him. His fourth catch of the game after having three in the first half. This team is just too, too good. Brady gives this one off to Jones. And he'll be We'd have to take over this game in a way that's. It's a six yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. We stall Brady. And I'm not sure we we can do that. Or can we stall Ronald Jones right now? I mean, if we if we ended up do making it to the Super Bowl in this season, which I think we'll make the playoffs, but that's about it. I don't think we'll do big damage, but we'll do some damage. If we somehow go on a magical run, and it's Tom Brady in the, in the Super Bowl. I don't know. For them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock too. This is a team that's just fundamentally better. So here are the Bears now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their <laughs> offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. Now a throw here on second down, and that's complete. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. What I love about watching the passing game nowadays is that the one-dimensional receiver is really starting to leave the game. You've got to be able to do it all. Of course, you got to run fast. Of course, you got to catch the ball. But route running savvy and toughness is a premium for all of that now. Seven yards on the quick slant and a first down. He'll look to throw. Sliding out of the pocket. And his throw is incomplete. Darnell Mooney, the target there. And that'll bring up second down. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. Lucky that wasn't picked. It was the linebacker, Devin White, there to knock it away. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Flush to his right. He may try and run for this. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first. Like use our feet. Yard run. When they watch film of this game and hand out the grade sheets, he's going to really like getting a double plus on this play. Why? He scrambles and picks up a first down. But what else does he do? Protects himself by sliding and avoiding the big hit. Double plus, big time play. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Brings up second and three. On play action, they'll throw. Escaping the pressure right. Throw it away. And incomplete on the deep ball. But we saw that he had a lot of success last week throwing the football, but that hasn't translated to this week. But with his team behind, I don't expect him to back off. I expect him to keep firing. He'll get that complete to his tight end, Komet. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They'll get nine out of that one. And as a result, That's the right. continues. Out of the gun, running with Cohen. He'll get about six there as he takes this one down to the 24-yard line. Not too many offenses. Blitz. Down long drives, Can we get uh, Allen Robinson a one-on-one? Pay it off with some points. Eluding the pressure right. And he finds his tight end, 
Now that is a perfect throw. No one else can make a ball or make a play on that ball besides Graham. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Buying time to his left. Now he'll pull it down. The improv on the scramble there gets him six. That's Levante, David. I'm not going to test my issues here. Not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. And he got half of what he needed there, two yards. And it'll bring up a third and two more. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, hard to get them started again occasionally. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. It's fourth down. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And my goodness, this is incomplete. The Bears tried it on fourth down. Tipped on out of his hands. And it'll be a turnover on downs. Coming out with a jumbo package to start the drive. So they've gone for it twice now on fourth down of this game, and both times unsuccessful. I wish we could hear the headsets now between the head coach and the offensive coordinator. Now that they're 0 for 2. If they get into a third situation, head coach might say, hey, you got anything for this one? <laughs> might get radio silence back. <laughs> and they'll get him down right around the 11-yard line. Five yards. Now it's third and five. From the gun on third down. Brady. He gets it into the hands of Gronkowski. Complete. And he is going to have... We're definitely going to have to... Uh... Think about what we're going to do in the linebacker position. Middle linebacker. We should be winning these uh, rushes with Quinn, but when he comes up with an actual good pass rusher or a uh, good blocker, we get zero pressure. I mean, Brady is throwing it very, very quickly. And he is going to have the Buccaneers first down by about three yards or so as they wind up getting seven there on third and four. One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. From the shotgun to give the Jones. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, He's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. The Roquan Smith, the Bears' leading tackler last season, makes the stop. On second down, it's Jones. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. 11 yards there, first down. The carries like that, that's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep them. And I think we need to upgrade the strong safety position. But that was something we already knew. Oh, wow. We had good penetration. And that blocking was just wow. A gain of 13. It's a first down. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. 
Yeah, they love the idea that they can take. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Buccaneers. O.J. Howard, his first touchdown on the year. And the Bucs are going to add on to their lead. They had the lead in the fourth, but still passing. Finding the big target for the touchdown. Now that lead grows even more. Everybody gets to join in the fun. You know, it doesn't have to just be the wide receivers catching touchdown passes. The tight end doesn't just have to do just the dirty work inside. He gets a chance to get into the end zone as well. Now it's Ryan Suckup on after the touchdown to kick it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. They had a great drive going last time. They were moving the ball, and then all of a sudden it just stalled out. So we'll see what they can do here, Charles. And it's always easy to second guess when you don't get it on a fourth down try. But they had to like the feeling that they had going on offense. They want to continue to see if they can capture that again on this drive and maybe get in the same position. Yeah, and that's, I mean, like I said, they were moving the football. It's not like they went four and out, so I don't think it's a deal where the offense doesn't have confidence. No, I agree with you totally on that one. If, if anything, they may have gained more confidence. Okay, they stopped us once. That's all right. Let's keep moving it. Make them do it again. So they had the big loss mm. on that first down pass play and facing a second and long. Stepping up, he'll try and run. That pressure up the middle by Sue is just ridiculous right now. He was able to leak out and pick up some good yardage, even though the coverage was excellent. Maybe it's not exactly how they drew it up. And a one-handed snag by Allen Robinson. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That catch puts him over 70 yards receiving now as he's got a first down. Really? Really? Did we just see that? That's a big catch. One-handed, I might add, to pick up a first down. I was going to say on third down for the defense, it's one thing to give up a reception. Just That's Bird's uh, first catch. To pick up the first. A gain of six there on first. They'll come up on a second and four now from the 40-yard line. And there's Vita Vea doing Vita Vea things. He's done some good things, but overall, looked a little bit overwhelmed back there, hasn't he? He certainly has, but in his defense, he hasn't had a lot of time to throw the football. You like the way I said that? In his defense. In his defense, I got it. Yeah. What oh, I what a catch by Newsom. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And missed him. And he whips that one incomplete there. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. The Bears on third down. They've converted six times and could use a seventh here. Here it's third and three. They'll try to run for it with Cohen. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. And a field goal obviously means nothing here. They're going to go ahead and go for it on fourth down. They'll try and run the option. And he's able to pick up the first before he's brought down inside the five at the four. Now, no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. First and goal at the four-yard line. They'll run. Oh, wow. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. Two of their three red zone trips so far they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Bears with the football here as we welcome you back. Two of their three red zone trips so far. They've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. Forced out to his left. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Nothing doing there as the 13th play of the drive proves to be unlucky. 
They'll look to throw on third and goal. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Maybe one final chance here to make this a bit more respectable as he'll go for it on fourth and goal. Back to throw, and that is caught. We were going straight to Allen Robinson the entire time. It didn't matter what the move. He made one move, and then we threw it. Obviously, the scoreboard right now is not the friend of this rookie quarterback. But, hey, a touchdown pass there maybe builds a little confidence. Every rep is valuable when you're a rookie. Every time you step up and throw the football, there's a lesson to be learned. Yeah, he took advantage of a little bit of loose coverage there with the lead. But at the same time, got it done. He'll take a little bit of satisfaction away from that throw. Now after the touchdown, here's Santos to kick this one away. Now this will make it into the end zone. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. Here comes the Tampa Bay offense now heading back out onto the field. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but... Very little reason to use him at this point. They'll try and run some clock now with Jones. And for one of the first times all night, he is going to go nowhere. Let's get some uh, snaps for our rookie. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts. Well, there's no point in calling timeouts. This upcoming second down play. There is some value for Fields to get the snaps. Again, it's Jones. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And this effort will not get it done. He stopped well short of the first down at the 29. Now the Bears will use their third and final timeout. As he'll get it with just over 90 seconds to go in the ball game. Here comes the Buccaneers punter now. As he'll punt it away for the second time. It's taken to the 26. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Bears take over. Now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge, and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved the hand like, who cares? Let's get out of here and do something some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue to, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. And down he goes, a Buccaneer sack. Jason Pierre-Paul. Credit him with a sack, and it goes as a loss of six. If Jason Pierre-Paul just manages to stay on the field and play 16 games, we could have double-digit sack numbers and then some because over his first two seasons in Tampa Bay, 21 sacks, earned himself a new contract, but hasn't been fully healthy. If Jason Pierre-Paul is that guy, look out. We'll see more plays as we just saw there. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. And that will be incomplete. As a defensive back, you have what a play. at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent. And that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. But no reason not to try it there. And they do indeed convert on. We missed it. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. He was looking for his rookie Cole Komet that time, but it's going to be second down. It leads to second and ten. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. And, and that's Daz Newsome. He's got a little uh, catching traffic potential. That's true font. Was angry because the defense just did not hold up. So fire the cannons! It's a victory here for Tampa Bay, and really, it looked at times like they just had this one in cruise control out there. Yeah, they deserve a ton of credit because 
You and I both know, heck, they knew. But this is a tough place to play. Overcame that with ease, robbed home with an easy win, and here's the best part for them. It'd be easy to get to the airport because the crowd left pretty early in this one, didn't they? Well, plus they have a police escort. Okay, you had to spoil <laughs> that part of it. Of course, they're going to get there. But think about how wide open things are now because this crowd didn't expect this. No. So they went back to the tailgate and said, let's go eat. This this one did any fun for us. Yeah, they took the drama out of this one pretty early. All right, let's see you here. Tom Brady carving us up. So for Tampa Bay, they boost their record up to a strong 4 and one. Jones carving us up even more. 132 on the ground, two touchdowns. The Green Bay Packers. Meanwhile, for the Bears, they drop below 500 to two and three with a loss. Howard Robinson, Goodwin Cohen with the receiving touchdowns. The defense, a lot of tackles, but too many touchdowns given up. Vita Vea with the sack, Sue, Paul, and Barrett. We couldn't even get to uh, to him. Couldn't get Fields uh, on there. He is our franchise uh, QB, obviously, but we had one injury, Eddie Goldman. He's out for five weeks. On well, week six against the Panthers. We do have a trade offer for Eddie Goldman. Uh, we're going to trade him out. We're going to trade him to the Bills. We're going to bring in someone, a uh, veteran, uh, but someone who's young as well. Let's take that position. Probably going to be urban. We've had urban on the roster before. You know what? We're going to bring back War Robertson Harris. He ended up not making the roster. We're going to bring him back. The Hicks will be on the left. Edwards will be on the right. Uh, let's put Woody Roberts and Harris. We're going to put Tonga as the one up there. Uh, 
We're gonna hold this. It's like this. So we got the Panthers here. Sam Darnold, who was traded over from the Jets to the Panthers. Then you have uh, XFL standout P.J. Walker backing him up. Christian McCaffrey, Reggie uh, Bonifon, Chuba Hubbard, who they drafted. Ben Mason, D.J. Moore. They brought back Robbie Anderson after a stint with the Jets. David Moore, Terrence Marshall, uh, Shai Smith. Zach Ertz comes over from the Eagles. Dan Arnold. Uh, Rayshon Slater, who they drafted in 2021. James Carpenter. Matt Paradis. Pat Eflin. Tyler Martin. Hassan Riddick with Morgan Fox behind him. Brian Burns. Gross uh, Matos. Derek Brown. Uh, Devon Dixon. Daquan Jones. Shaq Thompson. Denzel Perryman. Donald Payne, Jermaine Carter Jr., Dante Jackson, A.J. Boye, J.C. Horn, they drafted in 2021, Troy Pride, which was in 2020, Keith Taylor, Jeremy Chin, which was also 2020, great player, by the way, Tony Jefferson, Sly, and Blake Gillikin. So that will be your preview of the Panthers week six. We are two and three, but the thing is, our division has kind of been beating each other up. Uh, we are only one game behind the Vikings, who we haven't played yet. We beat the Lions. We haven't played the Packers. We don't play the Packers until we like eleven, I think, or maybe twelve. And then we end the season with them. We play the Vikings the first time week 10. We played the Lions a couple weeks ago. Probably the first game, I think. So thank you all for joining me, guys. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Later.